but again on a solo uh, this will be the second first part of the second video I make um, where I just after work or during lunch you know I'll check out some spots where I can bring Emma you know see if they're good uh, this is an old spot there used to be a house here uh, but so far I dug two holes and I mean they were successful holes but clay so just let you know I'll let you know on, um, on my first good find See you right, guys. Um, mostly clad and a key, a set of keys up to this point, but listen to this one. Uh, let me take the headphones out. That would make it easier. See what we got. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can do this together. That sounded really high. It went up to 47 once or twice too. 1247. Let's see. All right, it just looks like I missed it for a little bit. It should be right here. Now, from this depth, it, I think it's just a quarter, but it did bring up a little high. Yeah, just a quarter. Clad quarter that's been in the ground for quite a while. But Nah, it, had, it, it did jump up a little bit, so I thought it might have a chance to be silver. All right, see you on the next. All right, so far, got mostly clad, except this just now. But you got a week. I cannot tell the date. Mm, I think it's 46. 40, I think. Anyway, yes, yes. Uh, just want to show you. Had to wrap that up. Uh, just some clad and three wheats. See you on the next. Hey guys, I am out again prospecting, doing work on my lunch, of course. Uh, just the, um, so far, some clad, except just now, yeah, just a couple of dimes. And then I just pulled this. Beautiful weedy in really good shape. I mean, the relief is nice. It's not worn. It's just, you know, been in the ground a while. 35 weedy. All right, we'll see if we can get some silver today. See you on the next. All right, guys. Um, a few minutes later, up until now, I got uh, three wheats and some quarters and dimes. Typical. You know, New York Park. But I got something pretty deep here I wanted you to take a look at and listen to me. Listen to me. Listen with me. Sorry about that finger. Right here. Pretty deep. Let's see what it comes up as. Let's see. Let's get this out together. Oh, I see it. It's definitely a coin. But I think it's just a wheat. Did that. Yep. That's what it is. Another weedy. Okay. Number four here. Alright. See if there's anything else in here. Nope. See you on the next. Hey guys, um, here's another pretty good signal. Uh, I'm going to plug these. You can hear this. 
Pretty deep. Right about where that little pinchy ball is. I forgot what you call them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dig this up. I'll get right back. All right. Uh, looks like another coin. It was on the edge. It was kind of a little bit more in the side wall. Uh, than I thought, um, but it's copper, and it is a clad dime. What a day. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. I'm out again uh, during my lunch, and so far, as you can see from over there, I think you can see that from there, but so far, I got some mostly clad, really old looking button i'm not really sure not that old maybe it's just pot metal and rotted this piece i have no idea solid piece of brass but mostly clad and there was a penny i mean a nickel sorry that was just in my pocket was over to the left and then this just came up and judging by the age of that nickel i don't know i just had a feeling that there was going to be silver just because of the high tone um sorry i'm wiping i have no juice but it is a 44 mark don't see a mint all right i think there might be something else in here i'll see you on the next i'll let you know something else from my friends over in canada a 69 canadian Queen Elizabeth right there, I believe. See you on the next. So, there was just that Canadian, and then the Merc, and a nickel in that other hole. And a little bit of, a few, a few feet away, oh, sacked your way. These rings so nice. Oh, I thought I had a half. See you on the next. That was it. Just that one Merc and all that clay. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next spot. I don't know if Emma's gonna wanna go. We'll hey, see. guys. I'm back out. Um, this is the next day. Uh, I'm in a spot in New Jersey. Beautiful area. Nice little stream there. Uh, I'm gonna try this spot out a little bit. Um, it used to be a farm, just like most of the area around here, but uh, all right, I'll let you know what I get. See you on the next. Right. Well, up until now, been mostly clad um, however you know it looks like these, these have been in the ground which is why I continued um, and plus you know you leave five six inch quarter signals you got to assume you know there might be some good stuff here nobody most people don't give up you know quarter signals most people don't anyway I did just get a weedy it's a 50s, but it's a wee. I think it's a 54, I think. I can't really tell. Anyway, all right, let's see if I can get to anything else. I'm going to be leaving here in a couple of minutes. Lunch is almost over. So now we're talking, because we're getting a little older. As you can tell, I believe that's a 20. All right, let's see what else. Hey, guys. Well, God, this place is beautiful. Um, you know, I think, I believe they redid a lot of this, maybe in the 50s or 40s to make it a park. Uh, I'm not 100%, I'm just going based on what I found. Uh, you know, a lot of clad, two Wheaties, this really strange looking piece. I have no idea what that is. I mean, it doesn't look natural, it looks man-made, but can't tell. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you know, I don't know if this is a spot I'm going to take Emma to, but, you know, it's beautiful here. I mean, this might be just a spot just to hang out, have some lunch, detect. You know, not going to catch the big, you know, pool winter fish, but going to have fun.
All right, we'll see you on the next. All right, guys. Well, I had to call it. Um, I got to tell you though, again, amazing amount of clad. It's about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes total. Three bucks in clad. And I bypassed a lot of holes that were shallow. Not a lot, but a few. But nothing older than, you know, 60s pennies. So, uh, anyway, see you at the next spot. Hey, guys. Um, out doing a little more prospecting. Old abandoned home. Uh, upstate New York. Um, so far, before this find, got a couple of uh, clad pennies. They were deep, which tells me, hey, maybe it wasn't hunted. And then this just came up. Ooh, I believe that's an 11. Nice early lease. All right. That, that gives me promise here. I think that's an 11. Yes. All right. I'll let you know what else I get. Hey, guys. I am out again. Um, solo hunts. Prospecting. I'm at a park in Brooklyn. Uh, one that we don't normally come to. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, first hole. I mean, I just, I looked for a deep target. There's a few around. Um, focus. Yeah, you can see this is a wheat. I can't get a date yet. It looks like an older one. I'm going to guess 20s or 30s, but I'm not sure. All right, I'll get back to you um, on the next target. Crap. I can't believe this. This is right here. The, the weedy was right there. And then five feet later, about six inches only down. I believe I just pulled a copper. I can't believe it. I, I can't, I just, it, oh God, I just dropped it. <laughs> I can't believe that this was what it was. I'm thinking, it, the way it was sounding, it almost sounded like a half dollar. I'm going, no way. Dude, I gotta clean this up. I don't know. I can't tell what it is yet. It looks pretty wiped. But let me let me clean it up. I'll see if I can get something on it. I can't believe it. Wait till Emma sees this. Oh god. You know, I'm looking for something. I mean, I, I don't I see something on it. I just not enough to make an ID though. I'm looking for a wreath in the back. I'm looking for something. I don't know. I gotta look a little further, but incredible. A freaking <laughs> copper. I, I just I never in a million years expected this. All right, I'll see you on the next. I'm excited now. All right, a few feet away. I don't know if you can tell those sirens in the background. You know you're in Brooklyn. <laughs> I was born in this town. Um, 1935. All right, they're here. I'm in like a five square foot area. Uh, between big, big trees. I don't want to show the background, but all right, I'm going to keep going for a few more minutes. See you on hey the guys, night. I want you to hear this. Ho Hopefully you can hear that over the sirens. <laughs> it's a good six, seven inches down. It's coming in a little bouncy. Uh, it might be iron, but... I'm gonna dig in, I'll let you know. This freaked me out <laughs> for a second. That's a she, uh, she shell, seashell, <laughs> sorry. Which is always a good sign. And then right next to it, I did see a coin pop out. And it's probably a weedy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weedy, but I was bouncy as heck. All right, let's see what else is in here though, because that didn't sound, let's see. Hmm. Wow, that was that was one bouncy weedy. I wonder if it was on edge or whatever. Crazy. Did not expect that. See you on the next. I just dug this about five inches down, six inches down, right here. 
There is old stuff here. This is a, a signet ring, but it's, it's not real. It's plated. And it has like that stone in the middle. But it's really heavy. You know? But yeah, you can see it's just plated. Just this this tells me age though. This I mean these are this is an old style ring, probably late, mid to late eighteen hundreds, I think. Anyway, could be older. Alright, see you on the next. You know what? It's starting to rain. I said to myself, this is gonna be my last signal. I missed Doug the plug, I missed uh, pinpointed it, so I had to take another plug. But I got a nice, a nice little lice, a nice little white coin. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a barber. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh my God, you're kidding me. Wow, what a lunchtime hunt. This is. I'm, I'm done. This is it. Half hour. Largey, Wheaties, and a barber. I'm gonna see if I can get a day for you. Oh wow, this one's slick. Let me get back to you. It's a slick one. Definitely, oh, this, this side's pretty good. I'll get right Guys, back. It looks like a, a 1909, and I believe it's an O. Crazy, man. Look at how worn. This is one of the most worn barbers I've ever found. And that is smooth. And it's got a patina on it that I don't know if I'm going to get off, but I'm going to try. All right. See you guys on the next solo hunt. Emma and I will be coming back here for the digging duo hunt. <laughs> oh, she's going to be mad. See you guys. Um, I am out in the woods, uh, having some detector issues still with the CTX. Uh, I'm still insisting on using it. I don't know. I'm just stubborn. Love my CTX. Um, yeah, the coil keeps to be, keeps failing or I don't know, it just stops detecting. I just hear threshold and that's it. Um, and then like, you know, a couple of minutes later it comes back. It's so weird. I don't know if it's a bad wiring or connection or whatever. But anyway, I got a bang in 1236, 1237, which is typically like an Indian. And man, I just pulled it out. Beauty, beauty musket ball. Wow. Perfectly round dropped one. All right, I might be on a good spot here. See you on the next. All right, my next find, which tells the tale. That was pretty deep. That was probably uh, pinpointed deep. Yeah, crazy. I didn't, uh, I didn't think it would be that deep. It didn't sound that deep, but anyway, really nice uh, brass buckle. Probably horse tack. All right, tells the tale, tells the tale of a uh, of an old spot. See you on the next.